Sometimes I feel like people don't realize how hard it is to work a full-time job on top of trying to be a consistent creator. It's not as easy as it seems. It's basically like having two jobs, but one brings in all of your money while the other is just a passion, something you truly enjoy doing, with hopes and dreams that this could one day become your main form of income. And I'll be honest, balancing the two is one of the hardest things to do. For those of you that are in the same boat as me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Although I haven't fully mastered balancing my own work, I still wanted to make this video in hopes of helping other people that are in the same position as me by giving you the five rules I currently live by, using my passion for content creation as an example. Rule number one, you must have a passion for this. Let me emphasize that you must have a passion for whatever it is you are doing on the side. I feel like nowadays people decide to go into something like content creation because they think it will be easy or it will be easy money. I can promise you that 90% of the time this mindset just doesn't work for anything. When you have this mindset and see that it isn't easy and it's not just easy money, nine times out of 10, you'll give up. Having a passion for it will mean you create simply because you love to create. This alone will push you to keep going and keep working on it on top of your nine to five. Rule number two, make your own schedule. Since you're currently working a full-time job or part-time job, free time can be limited. This is why it's best to set some time aside for yourself, sit down, work on your craft, or even scheduling set times during the week for it. You can do this by actually putting it on your calendar or keeping a mental note on when you want to put time aside for it. Personally, my schedule is using my one hour lunch break at work to usually get my own work done, whether it be editing, scripting, filming, etc. I think any form of schedule works as long as you stick to it and remember that the time you set aside is only for what you set it aside for. Rule number three, take advantage of weekends. Time is money. On the weekends, more likely than not, you're going to have downtime. Take advantage of it. For me, weekends can be used to brainstorm ideas, film, write, edit, storyboard, all of the above. Anything can be accomplished during this time. My best advice is to go into the weekend with a plan on what your top priorities are for your passion at the moment and knock all of those out. Rule number four, take a break. The last thing you want is to feel burnt out while doing all of this, especially if it's a passion of yours. If you feel overwhelmed or feel like you've reached a mental block, take a break and come back to it some other time. Taking a break also means not setting a deadline for whenever you want to finish something. Remember that your creative process shouldn't have a deadline. You should create because you simply love to create and having that deadline will only pressure you into pushing something out that won't feel ready to you whenever it's done. Balancing your work also means you need to realize whenever you've stretched yourself thin. And last but not least, rule number five, have fun. Never forget why you started doing this in the first place and have fun during your creative process. If you're having fun while doing it, it won't feel like a job or a chore or a task that you need to do because it shouldn't be. Also, if this passion of yours involves any sort of internet creation, ignore the numbers. Just be appreciative of the people that do engage with whatever you put out there and hope that they come back. So, my fellow creator or aspiring creator, remember, mastering the balance between your full-time job and your passion is not easy. It never will be, but hopefully by embracing these five rules, you're already one step closer to your own success. As you navigate the challenges of being a part-time creator or part-time artist, keep that passion alive, stick to your schedule, and make the most of every opportunity ahead. Whether it's during your lunch break, on the weekends, or whenever inspiration may strike. And above all, don't ever forget to have fun along the way. The journey is yours. Enjoy it and cherish it. So go ahead, embrace that grind, pursue those dreams, and remember, you got this. Don't give up, because who knows? Maybe it could pay off in the end.
it took me a lot longer than expected to finish this video. But I'm glad it took the amount of time it did. It allowed me to be myself while at the same time produce a video that might help one of you in the future. And that's just something that I'm happy about. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. This is the hardest I've ever worked on a video. And I want to keep working hard on videos and I, and I want to keep, you know, producing the best videos that I possibly can. And yeah, I don't, I don't think there is much more for me to say. I think the next video I am going to, I am going to take a little step back and just maybe make a, maybe make more of a chill kind of video, more of a laid back kind of vlog and just kind of show you my day to day. I love this. I've had so much fun creating and doing it for y'all just makes it a hundred percent worth it, right? No matter, no matter who watches and no matter who I do it for, because, you know, I do it for myself at the end of the day and then for you watching. So thank you. But yeah, once again, this video meant a lot to me. I put a lot of work into it. I really hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I'm slowly finding a way to express myself in my videos and I feel like it's starting to show a little bit. I feel like my creations are all coming together and my style is slowly coming together if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I feel like people probably think I'm weird because I'm just sitting here with a tripod with a camera pointed at myself and a microphone. Uh, but yeah, there's like golf carts passing behind me. Anyways, I really do appreciate you guys watching this video once again. All right, I, I guess this is it for me. Uh, and I'll see you when I see you. Thanks. That's, that's it for me.